हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी सीरीज सो इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ऑल एस्पेक्ट रिलेटेड टू माइक्रोबायोलॉजी सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी सो माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट अप्लाइड ऑफ ऑल बायोलॉजिकल साइंसेस व्हिच डिड नॉट एग्जिस्ट एज अ ट्रू साइंस बिफोर द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ 19th सेंचुरी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इज स्टडी ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट इज द ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच आर ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोपिक डायमेंशंस एंड दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर टू स्मॉल टू बी क्लियरली परसीव्ड बाय द अनएडेड ह्यूमन आई माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट आर यूजुअली टू स्मॉल टू बी सीन क्लियरली विद द नेकेड आई एन ऑर्गेनिज्म विथ ए डायमीटर ऑफ 1 मिलीमीटर और लेस आर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड फॉल इनटू द ब्रॉड डोमेन ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर ओनली ए फ्यू थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ए मिलीमीटर इन साइज दे कैन ओनली बी सीन विद द एड ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप so they are very minute they are very minute uh, living organisms so we can't we can't look at that microorganisms with our eyes so we have to use the microscope and we have to use different types of microscope for the different living organisms or different minute living organisms so due to the invisibility of microscope etc the naked eye and the need for special techniques to study them microbiology was the last of the three major divisions in biology and the other two are the botany and geology to develop at present in general agreement to include five major groups as microorganisms the subdivisions are virology then bacteriology mycology phycology and protozoology so we'll see what do we mean by virology bacteriology mycology and all those applied areas so microorganisms are present everywhere on earth which includes humans animals plants and other living creatures soil water and atmosphere microbes can multiply in all three habitats except in the atmosphere together their number far exceed all other living cells on this planet Microorganisms are relevant to all of us in a multi multitude of ways. The influence of microorganisms in human life is both beneficial as well as detrimental also. For example, we extract many beneficial product like alcohol, wine, yogurt, curd. So these are the beneficial microorganisms. By these organisms we are able to uh, obtain some beneficial product. but there are some detrimental effect like you know virus you know covid 19 virus you know typhoid you know uh, many diseases which are caused by the pathogens like viruses you know that nematoda also that wuchereria bancrofti which is ca which cause the elephantiasis disease in the human beings so there are many microorganisms which has some beneficial effect and some has detrimental also for example microorganisms are required for the production of bread cheese yogurt alcohol wine beer antibiotics like penicillin streptomycin chloromycetin vaccines vitamins enzymes and many more important products so these all are products which are uh, are obtained from the microorganisms so these are the some fields and there some applied areas like what is bacteriology so it is the study of bacteria there in this uh, in this category the students and the in this subject the people will understand only about the they study only about the bacteria again we have mycology the study of fungi protozoology the study of protozoans virology study of viruses and viral diseases phycology study of algae parasitology study of parasitism and parasites microbial ecology study of interrelationship between microbes and environment so what are the interrelationship between microbes and environment like you know the microbes which decompose the uh, many wood and timber plants so they are interact with the environment as well as from the microbes then we have microbial morphology the study of detailed structure of microorganisms so if you uh, want to study the detailed structure of microbes then you have to read microbial morphology morphology is the study of the uh, phenotypic character of the or it is the uh, 
study of outer structure of the anything or any living organism that is called morphology then we have microbial taxonomy concerned with classification naming and identification of microorganisms like taxonomy is the word which is used for the classification the naming and identification of organisms then we have microbiology physiology so in what is physiology it is the study of metabolism of the any organisms so this is microbial physiology where the study of metabolism of microbes at cellular and molecular levels they are going to study then again we have microbial genetics so it is the study of genetic material structure and function and biochemical reactions of microbial cells involved in metabolism and growth so whatever the microbial genetics so in this subject the people and the uh, students are going to study about the genetic material what is their structure what is their function what are the chemical reaction between these micro cells and what are the metabolism functions and how the growth of these organisms has take has to uh, has take place then again microorganisms also have harmed humans and disrupted societies over the millennia so what is millennia millennium is a time period in one millennium there is a thousand years okay like that so microbial diseases undoubtedly played a major role in historical events such as decline of the roman empire the conquest of the new world so because of the microbes because of their disease spread so on that time in the ancient time people are not are not aware about the microorganisms how the people are dying they are dying by the infections but they don't know how why they are dying they thought that god we have done something that god is cursing us but because of this plague there are many plagues so it was in the year 1347 when plague or black death struck europe and within 4 years killed 25 million people that is one third of the population this dreaded disease is believed to have changed european culture and prepared the way for renaissance in addition to health threat from some microbes many microbes spoil food and deteriorate materials like iron pipes glass lenses computer chips jet fuel paints concrete metal plastic paper and wood piling then some are the major field of the microbiology and their applied areas like industrial microbiology it is concerned with industrial uses of microbes in production of alcoholic beverages vitamins ns2 acids enzymes antibiotics and other drugs then we have agriculture microbiology study of relationships of microbes and crops and on control of plant diseases and improvement of yields then we have food microbiology deals with interaction of microorganisms and food in relation to food processing food spoilage food borne diseases and their prevention then we have dairy microbiology in which we are uh, deals with the production and maintenance in quality control of dairy products then aquatic microbiology study of microorganisms found in fresh estuaries and marine waters then we have air microbiology deals with the role of aerospora in contamination and spoilage of food and dissemination of plant and animal diseases through air then we have exo microbiology which deals with the exploration of microbial life in outer space you know there is one insect tardigrade which has the ability to live in the outer space even they can they can live in the atmosphere where there is no any air they can live anywhere that is tardigrade so like that organism that deals with the exploration of microbial life in outer space then immunology deals with the immune system that protect against infection and to study serology reactions then public health microbiology concerns with monitoring control and spread of disease in communities then biotechnology the scientific manipulation of living organisms especially at molecular and genetic level to produce useful products Microbiology is one of the largest and most complex of the biological sciences as it deals with many diverse biological disciplines in addition to studying the natural history of microbes it deals with every aspects of microbe human and environmental interaction these interactions include ecology genetics metabolism infection disease chemotherapy immunology genetic engineering industry and agriculture
the branches that come under the large and expanding umbrella of microbiology are categorized into pure and applied sciences. The branch of microbiology has two major aspects, the theoretical and the applied. Doctors and farmers are applied microbiologists. For example, the doctor has the primary interest to keep people healthy through the use of scientific knowledge, while the scientist, which is do theoretical work, is to obtain new information in his related field and guide the farmers to increase crop yield. Microorganisms are indispensable components of our ecosystem. Microorganisms play an important role in the recycling of organic and inorganic material through their roles in the carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur cycles, thus playing an important part in the maintenance of the stability of the biosphere. They are also the sources of nutrients at the base of all ectotropical food chains and waves. In many ways, all other forms of life depends on the microorganism. The use of microbes to reduce or degrade pollutants, industrial waste, and household garbage, a new area referred to as bioremediations, being given substantial importance these days. A common edible mushroom contains a protein, lectin, that can stop cancer cell multiplications. This discovery of 21st century could lead to the new targets for therapy. Similarly, an endophytic fungus, Taxomyces andrini, is being used to produce Taxol, an anti-tumor diterpenoid used in the treatment of some cancers. Taxolval originally obtained from the bark of Texas brevifolia. So there are many microbes which are helped to reduce the and degrade the pollutants. The industrial waste, I think you know about the water treatment. In this water treatment, the, they maintain the BOD biological oxygen demand of that water then they go through the some treatment after treatment they release the water in the river like that bioremediations so we know there's many ways to degrade the uh, degrade the harmful toxic material so because by the help of bioremediation there also uh, microbes are also helping to clean the environment then you know uh, we all eat edible mushroom like sikataka mushroom oyster mushroom Butter mushroom. We have multiple types of mushrooms uh, which we like it. A lot of proteins and the minerals present in mushroom that has also a microorganisms, but that is used as a food. Then uh, we know uh, that there are certain benefits like uh, tumor cancer. What is cancer? It is a chronic disease, very chronic uh, diseases. And uh, why uh, cancer? There is a uh, there is a, a machinery. The, the when the cell divides, the machinery to stop the cell division has lost and because of that, the cancer is rapidly multiplied, rapidly multiplied and they don't know when to stop. So, this that is a type of tumor. So, the first one is benign tumor, then we have malignant tumor. In benign tumor, the it can be treated. In benign tumor, the, person, the patient can be treated because it is the fixed on one position. But malignant tumor is very tough and it is very difficult because it uh, moves from one place to another and it is very difficult. So that is the part of cancer. So there are many microorganisms, there are many fungus. So the medicines and the antibiotics are obtained and derived from that microorganisms reactions and because of their uh, and we in the in, even in the uh, medical field or in the agriculture field, many of the medicines which are obtained from the microorganisms only, the chemicals obtained from the microorganisms, and these are that uh, chemical is used for the production of medicine, and this is also used in very in, uh, in many industrial or industrial sector to produce a lot of medicines. So this is the help of uh, by the help of microorganisms, all these things are happening. So thank you very much. This is the first lecture and we will continue this lecture in uh, less in the next lecture. Thank you very much.